Hey guys, today I want to talk about resistance. So I was kind of thinking about this and anything in life that's really worth doing requires some magnitude of resistance. Rarely do you ever do anything that's easy and you're like, man, like, like I feel good about that, right? You know, whether it's in the gym, lifting heavy weight, going to school, studying something hard, um, working through some sort of like trauma or something, things that require sacrifice and are challenging to us kind of like on that edge of you can kind of you know work at it a little bit like it's a little outside of your skill set and it's challenging enough to where it pushes you something in that regard you know you can't go wrong with pushing yourself because that's where everything comes from you know i could get real romantic about it when you look at and like an electrical circuit and you have resistors modeled in there you could have beams where you have a stiffness that's modeled as a resistance like everything in nature has resistance to it you see these trees that grow among these big rocks and they're like all rooted in the rock and it's like how'd that tree even grow there everything is fighting against some form of resistance and for your life to not have any form of resistance or to not try to push past or through anything is not intrinsic to what's rewarding you know to human nature when we when we look at everything in the big picture and so you know, I just wanted to push that message of do hard things. Everything that's ever been rewarding is on the other side of, of pain, right? You have the two motivating, motivating sources, pain and pleasure. One pulls, one pushes. And, you know, if we just like, what, what would your life be like if you just constantly pursued things that made you feel good, right? Just, just think about that for a minute. It probably wouldn't, it wouldn't be very nice, right? It'd be sure it'd feel good, but your life would probably go down, go down the toilet pretty quick. And that's because the, like the universe tends towards chaos, right? And it's up to us to put it in order and to put it in order. It requires sacrifice and it requires overcoming these obstacles and things of resistance to be able to get to that point. And so just take on hard things, guys. You know, I've, you know, in my own life, um, whether it's starting, you know, working young and developing a work ethic and just like digging a hole, right? Digging a hole, for example. If you can dig, you know, this is kind of a, a little bit of a silly example, but I think it'll still get the point across. When you're digging a hole, it doesn't look like that much, especially when you're young. But if you work really hard at digging a hole and you put your soul and your heart into really working hard to get that dirt out of that hole, man, you feel good about that hole. You feel you feel real good about digging that hole because you're proud of it. You put everything you had out on the altar of life right there and you really pushed and you, you gave a sacred effort. You really tried and it's something you could be proud of. And I think you got to bring that same that same caliber and same um, attitude towards whatever it is that you do. Um, do things that are challenging, that bring satisfaction in the long term. You know, everyone's always talking about pursuing happiness. You know, that should be the end goal. But I think satisfaction is a more rewarding and sustainable meaning to pursue rather than this thing called happiness, right? I'd rather dig trenches all day and work really hard and be like, man, I really worked hard today. I'm proud of that trench. Then, then just like, oh, like, oh, I'm scrolling on my phone and oh, I saw this video and oh, it made me happy. What are we doing, guys? Anyways, I thought I'd just, just make this little video here talking about you guys. You know, I'm sure you kind of, you know, you understand this, you know this, you know, it's something you've always kind of felt that you need to do is to do hard things. And the thing about it is you're never going to regret it, right? If you do the hard thing, you're not going to be like, oh man, I really wish I didn't work out. Oh man, I really wish I didn't study that hard thing. Oh man, I really wish I didn't work past that emotional trauma. Like, you know, so it's all there guys. You just have to you know, and it's part of like the culture and part of society and technology and all these things that we have in our life. This, you know, all these modern conveniences we have is they want us to pursue pleasure, right? What's the quickest way to get you to pleasure that you don't have to work hard for? You know, just scrolling, scrolling on your phone, swiping through stuff. 
And as like sovereign individuals, we have to recognize that and realize that that's not the path towards enlightenment or satisfaction or purpose or whatever you want to call it. Because at the end of the day, you are all you have. And if you just follow the guys, follow the, the, the use like society and the culture as the bumpers to kind of direct you through life, you're not going to be able, I don't think you're going to amount to anything because that's not what society's aim to push you at. You have to stand up and you have to fight for yourself and you have to get, you have to get up and go after what you want in life. Because if you just sit around idle and take the back seat on the train of life, man, you're not going to make it very far. So that's just my message today, guys. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like this video, you know, give it a little, give a little thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You like what I'm talking about, like this kind of stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Take care. Peace.